Hello, everybody. Okay. Welcome to another Wednesday night. We are going to do a sacred pipe ceremony. And I used to worry about being late for my own <laughs> party. Like, oh my god, I need to be set up. I need to have everything in, in place. And then I realized that, number one, it's my party. <laughs> and number two, that if I'm not set up yet, it gives me a chance to kind of get set up and let people realize that we are on. So come on in. I hope there's somebody there. Like last, was it last week? People were commenting left and right, and I couldn't see the comments. I couldn't tell if there was anybody there. So I'm going to assume you're there. And if not, that's okay too, you know? I can sit here and talk to myself, and I really enjoy my own company, and I'm a, my own best friend. So it's all good. So... Just getting set up here, we have, I hear the crackling of the fire in the fireplace, we got the fire going, our little hearth fire. Here in my office, but hopefully, like, we're only, well now we're, we're less than six weeks from spring equinox so the days are getting longer and pretty soon maybe possibly um might be able to start doing this outside again which i love i love being able to bring you with me to the river but for now we're in my office and Downtown Renton at Four Sisters Holistic Remedies. Okay, what am I missing? And if you're local and you haven't checked it out yet, you really should. It's an awesome little store, and I'm here. Ta-da! Come in and get get a reading. We've got other, we've got, there's the store, and then there's the wellness center, which I am a part of. We've got a Reiki master, tarot reader, um, all kinds of different people, a massage person, naturopath. Um, lovely friend who I always, I, I never can pronounce what the term is, Curran, Curran, not Curran. He, he's a Mexican healer based on his grandparents so he connects with the, the ancestors and stuff so we've got flavors for everyone here come down and say hi get a card reading get a soul retrieval tons and tons of good stuff here okay so just setting up my altar it's weird i don't know is there anybody there? Because my live feed is not saying anything. Which is fine, because I would be doing this whether anyone showed up or not. That's how much I love this. If you are there, maybe give me a couple of hearts or something. Let me know you're there. Maybe I'm not even live. Oh, maybe I'm in a bizarro universe and the thing says live but it's not i don't know but i am starting to wonder so if you're there please give me like some hearts or something so i know there's someone there i don't know maybe there's nobody there But anyway, 
even if there's no one live, there might be someone watching in the future. So thank you. Um, my name is Patrick. I am your friendly neighborhood shaman. And we are going to do a sacred pipe ceremony tonight. I am just going to hold on one second. I'm really curious. I'm going to pop over to my Facebook on my... on my laptop and just see if I actually am live because it doesn't appear so is that or I'm just largely unpopular tonight nope I'm live I'm looking at myself oh and someone even shared it so awesome thank you all right that's all I needed to know Back to the fireplace. It has been such a weird time lately. Um, I don't know what you guys are all going through. If things have been kind of wonky for you. But things have just been crazy yesterday. I had some things happen. I was in tears. I went to the river for about three hours to try to... Um, find the center again, doing the ceremony and everything, but feeling much better today. The stuff's still there, but I'm handling it much better. So, again, thank you for joining me, <clears throat> whether you're here live or watching this in repeat. Welcome, thank you for your presence. Um, even if this, if you're watching this in repeat, um, you're as, your energy is as vital to this process as if you were watching it live. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do, as with all ceremonies, we're gonna call in sacred space. We're going to call in the spirits to hold space for us. The elements and the spirits of... And we're back. That was weird. Things are just, just generally weird right now. If they're weird for you, know that you're not alone. We're all in this together. Things are strange and wonky. But... Everything is going to be okay. Everything is okay. So this is how I call in the spirits to hold sacred space for us so we can do our ceremonial work. Spirits of the earth. Spirits of the air. there's two people watching now I wasn't sure if my my feed was working I didn't know if I was actually live so again welcome I am Patrick I am your friendly neighborhood shaman and we are gonna do a sacred pipe ceremony tonight um, I have been doing this for almost two years now since the beginning of the pandemic 
I had been doing ceremony every day on my own to kind of help hold the light, help hold the frequency of love for the community, for the world, <coughs> because of everything that was going on between the politics and the pandemic and everything. Um, I need to pad my... I've got bony ankles when I'm sitting on the ground or the floor. They start to hurt, so I've got to pad it up. Pad it up. Pad it up. All right. So anyway, so I was doing that, and then I realized if there weren't a pandemic, I would be doing these ceremonies live and in person. And because of strange, unprecedented times, it was like, I'm going to do these on Facebook Live. I'm going to do live videos, give people the opportunity themselves to connect to spirit, to connect and send their prayers and just at least breathe in the middle of the week, take a deep breath and let the world off of their shoulders. So that's why we're here. So I hope you have, this is a good opportunity for you to if no other point in your week, you get the opportunity to relax, to breathe, to put the world on hold. I hope you are able to take advantage of this opportunity right now. So, um, and if you are new, I'll do a quick tutorial of what this is gonna look like and about the pipe itself. So if you've never been to a pipe ceremony before, and the people who have been watching this for almost two years are probably getting tired of me going through the same thing every, every week. But um, this is the sacred pipe. Uh, the stem is the divine masculine. The bowl is the divine feminine. So when we put, the bowl, when we put them both together, it's the presence of the entire universe. It's the yin-yang. It's all of creation. And when I put the pipe together, it basically awakens the spirit of my pipe and it opens a channel straight to creator, straight to great spirit. And so when we pray, basically when I put the pipe together until I take it apart um, is one giant prayer. So everything you think, everything you intend, everything you dream um, goes straight unfiltered to the divine. So my hair is doing weird things. Oh well. And I don't, I've been trying to figure out how to do a better angle. This this angle makes me look kind of fat, but it's just the, <laughs> the angle looking up at me like, hmm. Anyway, um, so this is the pipe um, brought to the Lakota people 19 generations ago by a white buffalo calf woman. And you might hear me mention her a couple more times because she's actually been one of my guides for about um, somewhere between 12 and 15 years. I kind of gave up trying to remember exactly how many years, but um, right at the beginning of when I was um, starting to do this, this kind of work, she showed up um, for me in a vision quest and has stayed with me and become one of my most important guides. But anyway, so she was the one who brought the pipe to the people and gave them seven total ceremonies to do with the pipe. So this is like the central, this is the, the altar, the church, um, basically of their way of life. Um, and it's become kind of the center of my way of life, come to think of it. Instead of, being like, they, they're still here. We're all still here. We're all part of the same race, so. So anyway, so that is the pipe. You may have heard it called the peace pipe in Hollywood. Um, because it, 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 is, it was central to them, the Plains Indians and, and so any peace treaty, any any big going ons, goings on, going ons or goings on, one way or the other, um, the pipe was central. That that was always an important ingredient in everything. So, so 
the first thing I'm gonna do, what this is gonna look like, I've got some sage and some sweet grass. Oh, yum, yum, yum. And some osha, osha root. I'm gonna light those. I'm gonna smudge everything on my little, my little altar here that you saw me setting up if you were here earlier. Um, I'm gonna smudge everything, including the pipe. Um, and then once that is done, I'm going to say a prayer, ask permission to smoke at this time. I'll put the pipe together um, and then I will put four pinches of tobacco into the bowl. <clears throat> and I'll say prayers while I'm doing that. And those are out loud. You will hear me pray to the different um, elements and spirits and ancestors, whatever, when I'm doing that. And then once we're done, <clears throat> putting the tobacco in the pipe, you know, and four, it's four pinches because it's like the four directions, the four elements, um, four is a sacred number. There's four colors in the medicine wheel. Um, and so once that is done, then White Buffalo Catwoman has given me a song to sing before I facilitate any um, ceremony, any pipe ceremonies myself. And so I will sing that song and then I will light the pipe and then I will blow breath, breath blessings into the four directions. And I'll actually offer my pipe, like I'll take a puff and then I will turn the pipe around so the bowl is to me and the stem is to that direction. It's like offering the spirits to smoke, welcoming the spirits into the circle. So I will do that to the four directions, to Father Sky, to Mother Earth, in a circle for all my relations, and then straight up for Creator. And then I will do a silent prayer with the pipe to my forehead and heart. Then I will come back, I will relight the pipe if I need to, and then I'll take a great big puff of smoke and I will blow it straight at my camera. And that is a blessing coming from my heart through my breath, through the, the smoke of the tobacco spirits, through my phone, through the magic of the holographic universe and the internet. It will come out your device, wherever you're watching this, and into your heart. Then I will continue to smoke and blow breath blessings for different different um, intentions of mine, different intentions other people have asked me to pray for. And I'll do that and in between sit quietly um, in meditation and then do more breath blessings and such. Um, and then when it feels done, there'll be another prayer. I will take the pipe, I will sing a song and I'll take the pipe apart and that will be the end of the ceremony itself. And then we'll kind of sit here and chat. My guides tend to like to talk, give me things to talk about. And so, and I never know. It's like, I just realized today, I've been doing this for, like I said, almost two years now. And I've never made notes. I've never, um, well, I guess once I did because it was a special occasion, but, um, I don't make notes beforehand. I don't, I'm not all day going, oh, what am I gonna talk about? What am I gonna talk about? And I, yet I have never run out of things to say, which if you've been here for the last two years, you can attest to. Um, but we'll talk a little bit. Like I said, it's been a weird couple of days, if not like a couple of weeks. So I've gotten a number of insights just this past week, and like I said, I've been going, the last couple of days have been really super challenging for me. So hopefully I can share some insights that make it less challenging for you. Um, so again and again, thank you for your presence. You might not think you do much. You're just watching this, just a passive thing, but if you're watching this, you are in that sacred space I just set. You are basically sitting here in this room with me. And your energy is a part of this circle, just watching it. Like in quantum physics, you know, it's perception is, is 
everything. Perception changes the outcome of things. And so just you're watching, just you're being present here. I hope, I hope it affects you in a positive way, my being present here with you. And I know that your being present here with me is very meaningful for me. I can, it, it, it right raises the potency, the vibration, like exponentially when you are here. So for that, I am so grateful. Thank you so much. Um, and I hope that this serves you well and gives you, like I said, the opportunity to relax for a moment to tune into great spirit and let the outside world be. So, okay, so let's do this. Like I said, the first thing I'm gonna do is light some sweet grass and some sage. I'm gonna smudge everything here on my little altar. May you walk in beauty in a sacred way. May you walk in beauty each and every day. May you walk in beauty in a sacred way. May you walk in beauty each and every day. May the beauty of the fire lift your spirits higher. May the beauty of the earth fill your heart with mirth. May the beauty of the rain wash away your pain. May the beauty of the sky make your mind to fly. May you walk in beauty in a sacred way. May you walk in beauty each and every day. May you walk in beauty in a sacred way. May you walk in beauty each and every day. May the beauty of the fire lift your spirits higher. May the beauty of the earth fill your heart with mirth. May the beauty of the rain wash away your pain. May the beauty of the sky make your mind to fly. May you walk in beauty in a sacred way. May you walk in beauty each and every day. May you walk in beauty in a sacred way. May you walk in beauty each and every day. May the beauty of the fire lift your spirits higher. May the beauty of the earth fill your heart with mirth. May the beauty of the rain wash away your pain. May the beauty of the sky make your mind to fly. May you walk in beauty in a sacred way. May you walk in beauty each and every day. May you walk in beauty in a sacred way. May you walk in beauty each and every day. Oh. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Grandmother, Grandfather Eagle, I send a voice. I ask permission to smoke in this place at this time. All my guides and guardians watch over me as I smoke.
creator, Earth Mother, to Wabin, Shanadisi, Magikiwis, and Wabus, there is always room for you in my pipe. Creator, Earth Mother, for the two-legged, the four-legged, the winged, the crawlers and the swimmers, all my relations come smoke with me. Grandmother Moon, Grandmother Ocean, to the energy of birth, growth, maturity, the spirit realm and our ancestors, may all the passages of our lives be in harmony and grace. Creator, Earth Mother, to Eagle, Coyote, Bear, White Buffalo, White Buffalo Catwoman, bringer of the pipe and the law of good relations to the people.
Grandmother, Grandfather, Eagle, I send a voice. I thank you for our lives. I thank you for our paths. Thank you for your love, unconditional, your support, and your guidance. Thank you for being the light that guides us through this darkness. Um, thank you for being the light within us that shines and shows us the way when we get quiet enough to listen. Thank you for this moment and every moment. Thank you for who we've been, for who we've become, for who we are becoming. Love you. Thank you. Aho. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Belle, I miss you too. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining me. Natonia, I couldn't, I didn't want to respond while I was in ceremony, but I love that you were smoking along with us. <clears throat> you know, even if you smoke cigarettes, if you smoke something else. Um, oh, okay, this fits in with what I was, one of the things that happened this week before my big kerfuffle the last couple of days, which I'll get to in a minute. <laughs> um, I was in a kind of a funk. It's, it's just been a funky time lately. I don't know if you guys are experiencing that too, um, but I was in a funk. I went down to the river and did pipe ceremony. And <clears throat> one of them, and White Buffalo Calf Woman, who's the one I usually address when I'm doing pipe ceremony, I asked her what was going on, what do I need to do to fix this, What's, what have I done wrong, all of that, you know, stuff that really doesn't matter, that isn't really part of the point of healing. And she reminded me, uh, if you haven't read Way of the Peaceful Warrior by Dan Millman. It's a book I highly recommend. It, it might be a little basic if you're a little further on your path, but there is a lot of really good stuff in there. And one of the big takeaways is a phrase he uses over and over again, that there are no, ordina there are no ordinary moments. And White Buffalo Calf Woman reminded me of that quote. And then she told, and then she said, Every moment is sacred. And she said, no matter what's going on, always a divine presence. There is never less divine presence in one moment than there is in another moment. Every moment is sacred, which is huge. And that's part of being able to like, to be able to allow yourself to feel the things that are coming up. You know, when, when, when those emotions and those old feelings come up that you think you've dealt with, or even old traumas from childhood, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, there's nothing you need to do with those except feel them. Uh, they're coming up because they're coming up to be released. If we start digging, trying to find out what's wrong and what did I do and why is this coming up, you're basically just pushing it back down. It's coming up to be released. And so when you realize that every moment is sacred, <clears throat> then even those moments when you're in those big funks or anxiety or depression or whatever is going on, 
even that moment is sacred and everything is happening in a sacred manner you know we we you know we come here meet once a week to do this beautiful ceremony i love this this is the most sacred space i know of but outside of that everything is ceremony everything is sacred every act is sacred so even those times when you're down on your knees you know whatever is coming up whatever you're dealing with that is a sacred moment. The divine is present in that moment as much as when you're happy and joyful and at your best. And when you realize that, then you can see that there's purpose in it. Then you don't have to resist it. You don't have to fight it. You can just let it be. And I'm not saying it's easy. Don't, don't get me wrong. Um, when those things come up and it's like almost, you know, even physical pain from some of these emotions, it is the hardest thing to just sit with it. We want to fix it. We don't want to be in pain. Um, but the more we can, the more the, the, the pain comes from resisting it. Most of the pain, I'll put it that way, most of the pain comes from the resistance. Trying to fight it, trying to push it away, you know. And I've mentioned Kyle Cease before. Um, he's this wonderful man, um, tons of videos on YouTube. I would highly recommend looking into him, but he talks about like when those things come up, that's your inner child, whatever trauma that you experienced as a kid, those, those emotions coming up is that little kid asking for love. And so if those feelings come up and you're not allowing them to be, you're not um, accepting the divine presence. Um, you're basically telling your inner child, shut up, go away. I don't want to look at you. And so basically you're re-traumatizing that inner child who's coming up and try, it's like, hey, excuse me, I need some attention, I need some love. And so when those things come up, if you can give yourself the love and the compassion that you were missing at the beat, like wherever that emotion, that issue started, love that child, say, I see you, and it's okay to cry, it's okay to be afraid, it's okay to hurt. Um, that is how you heal those things. So, bringing it back to Antonia, who said she was smoking along with us, even if you're smoking cigarettes, cigars, whatever you're smoking, that is a sacred moment. That is, that everything is ceremony. And if you do it, like I, I the, the song I sing at the beginning when I'm smudging everything, walking in, walk in beauty, that is, um, that is my mission statement, I guess you could say. Um, is everything you do, everything you think, everything you say, sows seeds of either love or fear, of beauty or ugliness. Um, and so whatever you're doing, do it with full consciousness. Know that you chose it and that even if you're, you know, oh, I got to quit, I got to quit, this is bad, this is bad. Again, you're resisting. And if you if you smoke, and I'm not I'm not condoning smoking, um, but if you do smoke, make it sacred. Do you if you've been watching this, do do the same thing when you when you blow that smoke out, blow out a prayer to Great Spirit, set your intentions. Let that smoke carry your prayers and intentions to Great Spirit. Um, there is no separation. There is, everything is sacred. We are all part of the same divine sacred energy. And the only thing that needs to change is our perspective of that, um, our perception, our acceptance of the divine. Because when we do that and we accept that divine light within ourselves and the divine light in the world and in all people, then 
you're you are that's how you heal yourself you empower yourself and people who are empowered people who are passionate don't harm other people the actions come from what's inside of you your actions your decisions what happens around you is a reflection of what's going on inside of you so that is you can't force healing on anyone or anything you know there's lots you can do toward you know charities and donations and protests and different writing letters and signing uh, petitions etc etc but if you're if you're not coming from that place of wholeness within you saying okay yes this needs to change let's change that because you're looking toward something you're moving toward something not away from something that makes all the difference in the world and so when you're doing it from that place of centeredness of love of compassion then just like i mentioned earlier when you're watching this video you are not just passively watching it your energy is part of this matrix that we just set the sacred space and ceremony and your energy affects everyone else who is watching this or whoever will watch it in the future um, so do things from that place of sacredness like i said sacred space with my drum you know you can do the same thing or if you've got a rattle you can even have a i don't have any medicine or aspirin or anything um, but even if you have an aspirin bottle that's a rattle and the spirits respond to that you know humans shamanism is over a hundred thousand years old and we have been using drums and rattles for at least that long so when the spirits hear a drum or a rattle they are like alert they're like oh something's happening let's check it out and so in the morning just set your intentions rattle if you got a rattle drum if you have a drum clap sing just call in sacred space call in the elements your guardian spirits your guardian angels your ancestors whatever feels right to you whatever resonates with you and set that in that sacred space and then when you go to bed at night you can release that space or you can reignite it to have a sacred sleep you know every moment is sacred there is no there is no moment that the divine is not present and the secret is you are the divine presence Whatever is going on around you, wherever you are, um, like I had my, a friend, my dear friend of mine, Pixie, um, said to me years ago, and it has stuck with me all this time. She said, "Own your space. Wherever you are, be there, because there are no accidents. Everything is sacred. You can't be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And sometimes, if it seems like it." it's because you are the light you are the divine presence that is needed in that situation again you don't have to act you don't have to do anything you don't have to fix anything just be present and by being in that presence surrendering to that high frequency frequency that you are you're already whole. You're already high frequency. You are a spiritual being having a human experience. When you surrender into that, you raise your frequency, and that makes all the difference. And then solutions just pop out of midair. Things happen. Miracles happen. Um, things that you wouldn't expect or you couldn't make up. And it's, it's amazing. I promise you it works. I live my life by that. I have lived my life by, by that for many, many years. Um, so, and along with that, then there is no situation that is hopeless. No matter how dark it seems, there is always hope. There is always change. 
<clears throat> Day always follows night. Light always follows darkness. The darkness is not evil. It's sacred. That is the womb where all creation happens. And then coming into the light is the birth, the creation, and the manifestation of what we dreamt in the dark. So, in this moment, you are whole. In this moment, you are divine. In this moment, you are sacred. And yet, this moment is no more sacred than once I close sacred space and turn off this video, that moment is just as sacred as this moment is. These moments are important to remember, to get perspective, to get alignment, to remember what's true so that we can take this sacredness out into the everyday routine world, you know. Um, if you follow my, my Facebook page, I just started doing, for years I was doing Totem Tuesdays. Every, to, every Tuesday I post a drawing of mine of an animal and I give a little write-up of what that animal's medicine is, what that totem helps us with. And yesterday's was dolphin. And it's usually, there's so many complexities that I can't, I can't cover all of them in a little short, you know, Facebook post. But one of the things that I didn't say that fits with what I'm saying now is one of, one of the things that dolphin helps us with is the breath. And if you think about dolphin as, you know, they are a mammal, they're not a fish, they're a mammal, they're an air breathing mammal who lives in the ocean. And so if you think about the ocean as our world, our everyday routine world, and the air as spirit, that's where they came from, right? That's where we came from. And so dolphin has to every, you know, there's a rhythm, inhale, ex, you know, exhale, inhale, then it's like rising to the surface, connecting to spirit, taking that huge inhale of spirit so that we can then carry that spirit with us into our everyday lives. And then when we need, like then, you know, that's why it's good to have a regular <clears throat> ceremonial or ritual um, practice, meditation practice, so that we can have regular moments to touch base, to touch into spirit, take that big breath of spirit so that then as we walk through the world, we carry that light and that love and that spirit with us. And like I said, that affects everything and everyone around us. Um, so, yeah. Um, and just as a point of, as an example of that, I've mentioned I was gonna talk about these last couple of days have been really stressful and challenging for me. It's nothing life or death, but um, kind of like identity crisis, kind of existential, kind of like, um, what's my purpose in the world kind of thing. And... Um, I woke up yesterday, I got some unpleasant news and it just shook me and I'm crying and freaking out. So I grabbed my pipe, I went to the river, did ceremony for like two and a half to three hours. And, you know, it was first thing in the morning. So I stopped by to get, get my chai, my morning chai and something to eat breakfast. And the the price of that came to eleven dollars and twenty three cents one one two three so there's the eleven which is the present which is uh, beginnings as well as one two three which points to everything is happening in its in order there is still though it seems chaotic everything is unfolding in its right order um, and then 
if you've seen my my videos or my pictures from the river there's a pair of baited um there's a mated pair of eagles down there um and usually i see them when i go down there and sometimes they'll even come and perch on the tree across the river from where i do ceremony which is amazing but they didn't wait for me yesterday I, I started down the hill toward the river and they were up there on top of the hill. They were flying overhead. I saw them both. Um, so it was like another reminder, fly high, you're flying, you're soaring, everything is fine. Um, and so then I went to the river and prayed and smoked and felt white buffalo calf woman actually kind of I, don't, I never know how to say this because it's not like she physically appeared in front of me, but she appeared in front of me and I felt her embrace me and just let me cry. It was like I was crying and into her, um, you know, she wears this white deer skin dress. It was like that the deer skin was just soaking up my tears. And then um, she kind of took me under the chin. You know how you kind of do that kind of like, she took me under the chin, raised my face, so I was looking her in the eye. And she was like, you've got this. This is not beyond you. And it was just like, oh my God, she, she believes in me. She has faith in me. You know, it's us who loses our faith in ourselves. Our guides always see who we are. They always know what we can do. They always believe in us and they don't judge us. So then, as I went through that, you know, I, I was running out of matches. I ended up having exactly the right amount of matches that I needed to finish my ceremony. Um, then when I went back to my car, I get in my car, I get ready to start it, and all of a sudden, do, 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 it started to rain. It was, you know, it wasn't clear, clear out, but there was like no hint of rain before and all of a sudden it started raining as I'm leaving. It was like the perfect window of opportunity. So it was kind of like, even when I'm in that funk, even when I was in distress, all the signs around me, all the synchronicities were hinting, giving me little, little, little um, love notes from the universe saying, it's okay, it's okay. We know you're falling apart, but it's okay. Things are not the way they seem. And so today I was still a little shaken, shaken, um, feeling much better now. <sighs> but looking back in hindsight, like every moment, every moment yesterday, everything I went through, everything I um, did and asked and everything was perfect it was all sacred and then i went to starbucks to have more chai and watched xena and worked on my comics so if you don't know i'm a cartoonist as well and i draw um comics about my shamanic adventures so that was something else is like that is so restorative to my soul. And Xena is such a big, if, if you've been watching for a couple of years, you may have heard me talking about Xena and how she basically saved my life. Um, and drawing comics, it's like those are two of the most restorative things for my soul. So I kind of took care of myself, let myself draw, like forget about what else was going on, draw and watch Xena and and things are much brighter today. I'm still iffy, I'm still in a little bit of a funk, but so much more clear than I was before. So um, even when you're in those places, you know, watch for the signs, watch for the little, we gotcha, you know, from the universe, the little love signs, the little synchronicities and everything because the universe really does have your back. The universe really does love you and is doing everything it can to bring you to your highest expression. I heard a, one of my students 
last week um, used a term that I, I'm not sure that I'd heard before, prospiracy, where it basically is the universe conspires on our behalf. It's a prospiracy. It, the universe puts things in our path or guides us away from things, you know, brings us the right people, the right situations, the right steps to get where we need to go. Um, and rather than being a conspiracy against us, it's a prospiracy, like conspiring, thinking everything work in our favor because the universe will use whatever is in front of us to bring us home. Home is always just a breath away, a thought away. Um, it's not always easy to find. Like I said, it is this, you know, being on a spiritual path is not the easiest thing. It is, it's going to tear you down, um, rough you up, but it is so rewarding at the same time that I can't imagine living any other way. So, anyway, so that's what I have to say tonight, apparently. Um, thank you again for joining me. <coughs> um, and know that I am here to support you, that I'm here to help you, that um, I have been officially, and it's not like you just become a shaman, it's something I always had been. I just didn't know it. But I have been actively aware and doing shamanic work for 12 to 15 years. <clears throat> and I do all kinds of things. I do card readings. I do shamanic healing, soul retrievals, fairy doctoring. What I call shamanic Reiki. I'm a Reiki master, but I also weave in different aspects of shamanism um, and so check out my website perchingwolfstudios.net um, to see what services I have and even if you just you're not you're curious you just feel this impulse that you want to talk to a shaman you want to get a shamanic perspective let's set up an appointment and talk I, I can help find I can connect with my guides I can connect with your guides to help you find your way to get a bigger perspective on what's going on. Um, and I teach classes. In fact, <clears throat> coming up this Saturday and then in two, two weeks from Saturday, I'm going to be teaching my introduction to shamanic journey. So if you're curious about any of this stuff I talk about, um, if you're feeling, if you're starting to notice those synchronicities, if <clears throat> If, if things are falling apart in your life, but it feels right, um, or you feel like you're going crazy, <coughs> you may be, that might be your call to live a shamanic path. And so I teach this, it's a three hour introduction to shamanic journey class, and it's a hundred dollars and we cover I talk about the history of shamanism. I talk about what shamanism is, what a shaman does, the, who the spirit guides are, the cosmology of the shamanic perspective. And then I actually teach you to use the technique that shamans have been using for over 100,000 years to connect to their spirits. And so you learn how to do a shamanic journey. And I will take you, I'll teach you on a journey. You will meet your power animal, spirit guide, and that is a turning point. That was a turning point in my life. It can literally change your life. Um, and that's what shamanism is about, is about direct revelation. <clears throat> you don't have to go through the middleman. You don't have to have someone else in authority. Your heart is your authority and your information comes directly from spirit. So that information is on my website as well as on my Facebook page. Um, it's going to be over Zoom, so as soon as you register or pay, um, I will send you the Zoom link. Um, and it's actually, it's, it's, if you can't tell, it, it is one of my passions. I love talking about it. In fact, I've had to consider actually making it 
four hours long because I have a tendency to talk and talk and talk. But um, check that out. And then if, if, if you do feel called to that path, um, starting in March, I'm going to be teaching another year-long course. It's a monthly course um, dealing with different aspects of shamanism, um, meeting more of your spirit guides, having them take you to different places, learning different things, and basically building up your trust with your spirit guides because they are your best friends. They know you inside and out. They've known you since before you were born. So it's to build up that relationship, that friendship, um, that partnership. And so if that, call, if that sounds really good, if that calls to you, um, sign up. I look forward to teaching. I love teaching. Um, I love shamanism. And the more I, my job is to empower you. So if I can help empower you to find your own guidance um, to make my job obsolete, that is my job. So check that out. Also, coming in March, my, my prices are going to be rising. So right now is the perfect time to get a cert gift certificate. So this is the blatant self-promotion part of my, my thing. But um, you can get a gift certificate to lock in um, my current prices. So that even if you wait until after March, you can still, you'll still have, you'll still get a reading or a session or a healing or whatever at the same price as they are now. So, um, lots of stuff going on, lots of changes. I'm exhausted. I'm actually going to be taking a break in a, a couple of weeks, getting off in the woods, kind of do a little miniature vision quest um, so I can come back and re- reconstitute everything and change the courses I'm, I'm teaching and the, my sessions and everything like that. So lots and lots of exciting things. So keep up to date with me. I like my Facebook page um, and I will upload this. I will share this to my Facebook page and I will also upload it to my Perching Wolf Studios YouTube channel. So if you need another reminder of sacred moments and you need to take part in it, you can watch this video again and almost two years worth of videos on my on my YouTube channel. So um, hopefully that is helpful. I hope that helps you. Anything else? Please share this video. Um, and if you don't know, um, I also do a live video on Monday nights at eight where I do an hour of, I choose, I work with the medicine cards. Oh, I can only reach one card. Ha, ah, dragonfly. The medicine card deck, working with the totem animals again. I'll pull three cards. Each card has a different animal, and then you choose a number, and whichever card corresponds to your number, that is your guidance. That is the animal guide who has chosen to walk with you that week. Um, so, again, that's a free video every Monday night at 8. So join us, invite your friends, share these videos, um, and thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching this, for sharing, for um, getting readings and sessions with me. Um, we're in this together, and I support you, and you support me, and we can we all walk each other home. So thank you again so much for your presence. Um, I think that's about it. And I know I've gone over. I tend to try to keep these to about an hour or so. I know I went over a little bit. And oh, hi, Amina. Thank you. Amina is one of my students and she's, <laughs> so she's saying the monthly class is amazing. Anyone thinking about it should go for it. Thank you so much, Amina. That means everything to me. And I've been doing the course, the year-long course, for five or six years now. And every year gets better. It's like I learn new things. The people, my students learn new things. And if you're interested, I also do mentoring one-on-one, -on -one, shamanic mentoring. Or if you're not on the shamanic path, I do shamanic coaching where 
I can help shamanically help you get perspective and kind of a life coaching from a shamanic perspective. So anyway, thank you again so much for your presence. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Now it is time. Now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. M-I-C. See you real soon. K-E-Y. Why? Because we love you. M-O-U-S. Spirits of the earth, spirits of the air, spirits of the fire, spirits of the water. if not Monday. Um, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Check out my website again, Perching Wolf Studios. Um, like my Facebook page. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, those are things that you can do to support me without having to pay anything. I really appreciate it. Um, and share, share, share. <laughs> okay, so I will see you soon. And until then, know that I love you, that I see you, and that I honor you. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Remember, every moment is sacred. You are the divine presence in every moment. All right. Have a wonderful week. I will see you soon. Go shining. Bye.